Here with us is Tomislav Krzysztof, uh, co-creator of the digital first digital marketing undergraduate program in Croatia. Tomislav, do you like conferences like LIP? Uh, well, uh, actually I do, uh, because I think it's a, a nice uh, opportunity uh, for uh, all the participants uh, to mingle, to get to know each other and to uh, experience uh, uh, at the same time uh, news uh, from the industry uh, by the experts uh, who are brought here by the host, by the organizer. Um, and I think it's um, uh, the most important thing is uh, uh, for participants to get inspired uh, at such conferences. So upon that inspiration they can move on. We can say that you are a pioneer in digital marketing in Croatia when it comes to yes. education. Okay, yes. So you initiated the first uh, digital marketing undergraduate program. How did you actually get involved in the project? Uh, well, it, it, was, uh, it was a project uh, that lasted more than uh, maybe four years. Uh, we had a, a pilot project uh, uh, regarding uh, digital marketing. Uh, we produced um, a long, uh, uh, long uh, a life, lifelong learning, lifelong learning uh, program, uh, and uh, we had uh, three or four years of experience uh, dealing with uh, adults, uh, and we uh, encouraged them and uh, gave them the, the proper knowledge of digital marketing, and we actually introduced them to the market, to di digital marketing uh, market in Croatia. So we had uh, uh, cert uh, we certified uh, that program, and we have strong um, uh, uh, ideas uh, of uh, how uh, the next level uh, should uh, should be. So we decided to go from uh, lifelong learning to um, a more uh, institutionalized learning, uh, such as uh, Algebra University, and. Um, uh, it took us, uh, me uh, and my team, uh, about a year and a half uh, to come up uh, with uh, sufficient uh, quality uh, so we can uh, push it uh, through uh, the Ministry of Education. So we got the green light and uh, here we are today. We have both uh, undergraduate study and um, uh, graduate study. Uh, so we uh, covered the whole uh, vertical axis of uh, digital marketing and um, uh, we surely uh, uh, benchmark uh, the industry uh, with our uh, program and uh, I just may add one thing uh, which will uh, nicely depict uh, everything I would like to say about our program is that the most of our uh, third year undergraduate st students uh, students are already working uh, in digital marketing for uh, companies such as Drop, um, uh, I, uh, such as uh, The Gordian uh, or McCann. Uh, so uh, we, we try to say that we uh, produce top quality uh, professionals. And actually we have one colleague that finished Algebra, so we know a bit about you, Thank you. and your program. Uh, digital marketing has so many branches, we can say. What are basically some hot branches today for students that they can get engaged with? Uh, if we uh, point uh, our focus on today, uh, I would say that uh, this is uh, creating uh, quality content uh, and uh, distributed uh, through various platforms, knowing uh, particularly uh, 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 efficiency uh, and the effect of each platform we are using to distribute our content. So the, the main goal uh, is to educate uh, digital marketing professionals to get in tune with their clients so they can produce uh, quality content because um, in year uh, 2018 uh, uh, there is still uh, enough space to produce uh, uh, interesting content. Uh, so it would be content marketing and the knowledge uh, of how to distribute, uh, distribute and adjust the content uh, to um, particular media like uh, social networks or advertising or whatever. So we can say that the power, the power of digital is basically in its connectivity. It connects several fields and uh, different mediums. 
Well, uh, there is a long answer to that, <laughs> but I will have to, to uh, keep it short. Uh, so, um, the connectivity uh, produced something what we call digital disruption. Uh, and it changes uh, the, cha uh, the value chain in economy in a different way. Uh, so, connectivity, uh, as in connection uh, between people on social media, social platforms and social networks, uh, actually has the effect that uh, the, the people, uh, the users, actually hijacked uh, the brands and the brands aren't uh, uh, owning their own brands anymore in terms of uh, markets and uh, uh, echo <laughs> they produce on the market. So, um, uh, the focus is on the individual user who is uh, so much more connected than before and this particular user uh, has uh, various uh, products and services to choose uh, and uh, he or she can be sure that uh, uh, they will find uh, the most, the best uh, service they, they need. So, uh, the connectivity uh, puts uh, the uh, focus on the individual uh, and uh, companies and brands are actually doing their best to adjust their uh, offer uh, to every particular individual. That is the consequence on, of connectivity. So, um, uh, the users, uh, the buyers, uh, customers, uh, visitors of our uh, website actually rule uh, this uh, world of uh, digital reality. So, content marketing is a hot topic today, but what can we say about the future? Is the video, which is ever trending today, is, is, is video the, basically the most important format for the future? Well, uh, if you ask me about uh, the video, uh, uh, video has uh, uh, the best way uh, to uh, communicate uh, the message, uh, like something uh, what we uh, can think about. So we, we can see the message on the video, video and we can think about it. Uh, but uh, the video has another power uh, and that is to communicate emotions. Uh, and this is uh, the most efficient way uh, for us to uh, produce a package of emotions around our message so we know it is um, understood uh, in exact way as we planned it, as we planned. Uh, so uh, I think uh, video and uh, video production uh, is on the rise um, and uh, it is the most efficient way for us to uh, communicate the whole message. Uh, if you ask me uh, what will uh, happen uh, in next two, uh, two or three years, uh, two things. Uh, as, uh, as we get more digital, uh, we get to know more information about everything. So we tend to be spoiled and uh, uh, today we are digitally spoiled. And um, if it isn't convenient for us, uh, we don't buy it. Uh, uh, the, the, the hottest topic in uh, years uh, to come is going to be convenience uh, and uh, producers, uh, companies, brands will do everything in their power uh, to uh, make their products more convenient through distrib distribution channels. That is why Amazon uh, is uh, making huge progress and actually killing retail in US because no one, uh, no, nobody wants to bother going outside on the rain. They just uh, click some uh, buttons and uh, they expect uh, merchandise to come to their doors within hours, not, not a day. So this is the convenience part. On the, the company uh, part, uh, it is a marketing automation. Uh, the processes uh, will be more automated and uh, 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 employees uh, of uh, agencies and uh, uh, brands and companies will be more focused on um, creative part, not the repetitive uh, part uh, of marketing process. Great. I mean, this is an amazing topic and we can talk about it yes. for hours, yes. for sure. But basically all participants at LEAP are discussing a lot of things and speeches are really great. You have a speech yes. today. Yes. What, 
you can you can give us a sneak peek to the speech. Okay, uh, since uh, there is uh, something like 45 minutes, um, I can tell you uh, something about it. Um, it is a speech, uh, a presentation that I call the second the digital apocalypse, uh, because uh, the intensity uh, of stuff that is laid upon us upon our backs uh, is uh, immense. Uh, and we are not ready to cope. Uh, older generations, uh, born uh, before uh, 90s of the last century, uh, are blessed uh, with the knowledge uh, before the internet. So uh, we formed as uh, psychological uh, entities uh, in our early days uh, without internet. Uh, new coming generations are again spoiled by the internet and especially by the touch screens and they don't know how to function the 3d world so it is the end of the 3d world i'm going to talk about uh, and uh, there is actually a higher demand for what they call uh, blue collar workers in the us uh, because no one wants to do anything with their hands anymore apart touching the screen because they don't have the skills to do it so there is a lack of professionals uh, doing something actually with their hands in production not only services so uh, I'm going to talk about that uh, as a form of uh, threat to our society and uh, talk about uh, means uh, uh, of how we can uh, make it better how we can understand it better and improve actually in the future so I know that every presenter, since I'm a speaker also at the conference, I know that every presenter has a key message. Okay. Can you share the key message to our viewers and please look into, into the camera? When you, don't, uh, you, when you don't have anything to do, don't go to your touch screens. Uh, don't be passive uh, on the internet uh, because uh, it will do you damage. So uh, think uh, about what can you do offline to make you happy because there isn't too much and enough online activities in our lives today.